Good day, everybody, and welcome to Spotlight Mining. I'm Liam Hardy, and I'm joined today by good friend and geologist Erica Sweeney. How are you doing, Erica? Hi, Liam. I'm doing good. Thank you. What about you? You've been working quite a bit recently, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, it's been, uh, been pretty busy here in Vienna. Uh, just finished a big tournament online. Lots of companies yeah. presenting and catching up. Uh, whereabouts are you at the moment? So right now, um, I'm actually based in Vancouver right now. Um, you know, summer hasn't kicked in yet, but we actually were able to go out, you know, on sites and do, doing some site visits in Canada, right? Um, kind of trying to stay in the country and, you know, deal with the whole COVID situation, right? Yeah. And uh, you and Freeman just got back from a few visits up in Ontario. Correct. Uh, so we were actually doing some field visit in Ontario, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. And um, actually it was very good, you know. Uh, we went out in Ontario and visited our project again. Um, we did some, you know, more work a little bit, some sampling. So hoping to have some good news coming up. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about the projects. Uh, you, were, you went up to Oaks, is that one of them? Or? Yes, correct. So we have three projects out there. So we got the Oaks project, the Pichet and the Long Rose. Uh, they're all three located 100% uh, on staked by Riverside Resources. And uh, they're located within the Joelton and Beardmore trend. So it's actually right next to uh, the, the recent, you know, like uh, Joelton deposit. So it's a really good location. It's not very well known yet you know, but it's getting some attraction and uh, going out there, that's when you realize that there's actually a lot more that you could think, right? The geology is pretty, it's really good, you know, it's very wide, you get the size, you know, it can be the width or the length and there's a lot more to actually go out there and explore, but, you know, gotta find the, gotta find the person that's gonna do it, right? So we started it and uh, now we need a partner on it. You got to find somebody to, to JV and uh, and get out and do the work, eh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's um, we're project generator, right? So uh, we have our project. We do a little bit of work because we trust the project, right? We we want to show that we don't have the project just to have a, a list of projects, right? We want we have a portfolio that makes sense. That's what we that's what we're dealing with, right? And uh, so we're at this stage where, you know, gold is hot, you know, everybody wants project, but uh, we have really good projects and we want to advance them. It's not just going to be a six month thing. It's going to be a long term uh, type of exploration project. And uh, so it's interesting, you know, to see things are actually happening and uh, we're really happy. And that's why we actually went into the field and uh, kind of have some good news about it. And uh, so it's coming up. Great stuff. I mean, gold is so hot right now that even I've gone and launched a geological exploration company. <laughs> so we right. picked up some ground in West Africa oh, that's as well. Great. I mean, so um, Where about? tell us. A, oh, I can't say yet. There'll be some surprises oh, yeah. to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> um, I look forward to hearing. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So, talking about uh, your projects in Canada, what inspired Riverside to move up to Canada? Because most of the history is in Mexico and around that region. Well. You know, so there are multiple, um, uh, actually multiple ideas about that, right? So, I mean, Riverside has been in Mexico 13 years. Uh, we have a good base. We have a really good understanding. But um, we're not just geologists in Mexico. We're, you know, our geologist team is very knowledgeable. And we actually covered quite a lot of ground in the past, you know, and that includes BC, for example, it includes Canada, but Riverside, you know, is not very well known for that originally. So right now we just, we have this big da database that we use, uh, this really um, extensive background from our, you know, uh, technical team that is very important for us. And uh, so that's exactly what we're using. We're really using uh, the technical team and uh, we found some ground in Canada. We thought it was, Canada is just the ideal jurisdiction to work in right now. I mean, let's be real, right? It's, it's easy, it's not that expensive, you know, uh, they're very welcoming for mining. 
And, uh, you know, if it makes sense, it makes sense. Um, in addition to, you don't want to put all your eggs in the same basket, right? And uh, having, moving into Canada is, you know, it's great. And it's going to, you know, move Riverside to the next level. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, we all know Canada is a great place to go mining, go exploring for minerals. Uh, because of that, there are hundreds of companies out there in Canada. Uh, hundreds of licenses all over Ontario, over British Columbia, the Yukon. Uh, do you not think it maybe it's too competitive, or do you think now is a time when Riverside can really get into it? Uh, actually, I don't think it's too competitive. Uh, I generally mean that it really depends on the province to start with, uh, but it's a big country. There's space, there's so much to discover out there. There's just so much to do, right? Um, you're not restricted to one province, you're not restricted to one rural area. And that's what makes it, you know, such a great country to work in, right? So you got all those prospectors out there, they're doing a great job, those companies, they're looking, they're finding really good properties, right? And we all have like such diverse, um, skill set right that we can bring in and sometimes it's you know you just find the right project and you move along with it and uh, so I do not think that the competition is you know could be an issue in, in this you know especially in this gold market for yeah, sure. Good stuff and I suppose Riverside's uh, sort of ace in the hole right now the most important thing going on is going to be your Capitan spin out is that right? Right, correct. So everything was approved. So now we're moving uh, uh, towards, um, you know, getting uh, Capitan totally, uh, you know, separated from Riverside. And uh, so we're, um, you know, raising the money, getting everything ready, and uh, hopefully having, you know, some holes into the ground this year. And we can't wait for it, to be honest, because, you know, when you look at over companies, you know, uh, there are, down in Mexico, they're having really, really high grade results. I um, mean, just a recent one, Bizla, you know, as an example. Uh, I mean, we all love to see these kind of results, right? And uh, it's, they have more asset spending. And so we're looking in like, kind of the same style, you know, of results we're gonna expect. And that's, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be really exciting for us, for Riverside, for Capitan, for, I mean, anybody's going to invest in it for sure. Yeah. So what made the Capitan project stand out from uh, others when it came to spinning a project out? Why did that one specifically make sense to, to send off on its own? Well, so what happened is, uh, so Riverside had this project for about 10 years, right? And uh, it's really, they had over companies working on it, optioning it. And uh, so there was like, quite a bit of work done on it. I mean, we count about 10,000 meters of drilling, uh, which is quite a bit. And now there's a resource. So Riverside had it as a greenfield type of project and it came back with a resource, which is great, right? And um, as Alberto came in, he saw you know, something into this project that any major company would be interested in. Right, and this was this could be something big with a high grade zone, and um, it's a very interesting project. So, when they saw it, this is the most advanced project that Riverside has, right, at this stage. So, when Alberto saw it and he really wanted to work uh, with John Mark as well, so they, you know, it took them about four years to think it through and how to kind of get it out of Riverside and you know because you want to make money right you don't want to keep a project in and so if you can make it work with your own people and you know move forward with it uh, let's just do it and you know they, they just waited until the right moment the right people and it's happening right now and you know that's why we believe it's gonna be big for sure yeah fingers crossed and that's uh, you're, yes. you're raising funds for that at the moment or hoping to raise some funds in the near future uh, to get that started? Uh, so we're raising funds right now. Uh, you know, we're doing great. Um, we have quite a bit, you know, in the bank and uh, so it's moving forward right now. Yeah. For sure. Great stuff. And the other big news out of Riverside recently was the optioning of Los Cuarentas to, uh, to Hochschild, Hoch which is a word I cannot say. But 
there's too many C's and H's in, in one syllable there for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell us a bit about Los Cuarentas. Um, why, why is that one special? Well, uh, actually, yeah, Los Cuarentas, it's, uh, you know, Los Cuarentas was actually a project that we acquired from our Mirox portfolio in 2019. So it's, uh, it was a very um, recent transaction, right, uh, we had uh, with Miroc. And uh, it just happened that it was just the right timing, the right deal. And uh, we did a little bit of work on it. I was actually, you know, out there mapping and I did quite a bit of work and I really liked this project. Because you see like multiple, uh, multiple system going on, you know, it's a low sulfidation, epithermal system, but you still have some like, you know, high temperature um, alteration zone in there. So it's, it made it very interesting. But in addition to that, like when we actually sampled out there, we got, you know, 25 gram per ton, we got 10 gram per ton, and it's all like continuous along this amazing you know like northwestern east west trend and uh those you know those systems are very um similar and important like in this region of sonora right so you get those low circulation system and right next to it you actually get um you know santa Gertrudis to the northwest and uh just to the west you're gonna have mercedes mine uh from premier gold so there's a lot of activity out there and uh, it actually makes sense you know so when i saw it i was like we got to do something we got to drill it and right away you know as soon as we started like putting it out there people realized that you know this was a good project so we got a lot of interest and uh, we finally got to sign a deal with Horschild. And uh, we just started to work with them. You know, things are, you know, ongoing. And uh, it's actually really great to work with them, to be honest. Um, really enjoying it. And uh, hopefully going to get things, you know, going to have some good news out soon. Yeah, it's always uh, much better as an exploration geo to, to look at fancy spangly geology <laughs> and hit gold as well as just pretty colors, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah uh, no, totally. <laughs> a lot of the places I've been to, they've got the beautiful minerals and beautiful structures, uh, but they're not hitting any mineral, any, uh, any mineralization. So, well, yeah, exactly. You know, you gotta have, you know, you know, you gotta have the number that comes with it. You know, it's not, uh, it has to be economic, right? So when we're looking at it, especially for Riverside, we're looking at something economic and, uh, it's not just like you said, you know, like cool cool looking, you know, minerals and colors, and, you know, that does not make sense. We gotta, we gotta prove that there's something out there and, you know, that goes through, you know, a really good exploration program, uh, uh, you know, really good team and, you know, experienced geologists working on it. And that's what Riverside got, for sure. Yeah. That's kind of why I miss working in academia, uh, where we could just look at things for the sake of looking at them rather than uh, trying to find yeah. value in them. But uh, yeah, so Riverside have a pretty big portfolio in Mexico and now in Canada. Uh, where do you see the company uh, in the next, let's say, 12 months? Uh, what's, what's the target plan for the company in 12 months? Well, um, at this stage, so, you know, since we are really, um, you know, we have a, a diverse portfolio, right? I mean, we're mostly fo focused on gold and silver. And, uh, you know, it's a really hot market right now. So we got to, we got to really make it happen for Riverside and especially silver coming up, you know, that huge interest in silver. We have projects, you know, like silver projects, silver and gold project, right? And that's where we get really excited about it. It's, it's how, you know, we have those opportunities, right? And not only on our side, but on, also on the market side, right? So we see growth for Riverside and as a geologist and for like the whole technical team, we're actually working on expanding that portfolio and, you know, even getting better and bigger projects, right? So we're moving towards something that's going to be, it's going to be good. It's moving with the market. And uh, so I totally see Riverside as uh, really good. And I'm not saying that because I work for Riverside, but you know, as, a, as of like a really good investment, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I should say that we're both paid in some way or another by Riverside, so our opinions <laughs> yeah. are going to be heavily skewed whether uh, <laughs> whether we have a banner behind us or not. But uh, <laughs> yeah. so, um, like in your opinion, what is the the most exciting geology that Riverside are working on? Which is your one project that, as a geologist, you you keep one, wanting to go and visit and work on? Well, man, there there are so many of them, right? Um, but as of right now, uh, I think the Oaks project, actually, the one in Ontario, uh, this one, you know, like, um, it was my first time visiting the, the Oaks project before. Uh, Freeman Smith, our vice president, picked it up, you know, and uh, he, we staked it, it was great. Um, but, you know, like, I haven't really seen it before, and he took me out there, he showed me the potential of the project, and that's when I realized that this is, a lot bigger than I thought, right? And it's the same that happened with Corentas last year. I started working on it, you know. It seems like, oh, well, you know, maybe this could be small. And then you get on it and you're like, oh, wow, there's so much potential to it. You got to see it in the ground no matter what, right? And uh, so we took that opportunity this year. Um, I went out there, I looked at it, you know, our... Uh, VPX showed me everything and I was like, oh man, we got to find somebody for it, right? And it just, I think this geology out there, you know, you're, there's something to grow for sure. Uh, you know, we need some more exploration. It's very early stage, but we have, you know, samples like rock chips, you know, with BG. So we have visible gold uh, at surface. And uh, we also have, you know, 30 gram per ton, like, you know, a non ton type of uh, uh, samples out there as well. So, you know, it's, it's very, you know, it, it's pretty straightforward too. You know, it's, it's, you know, pretty continuous and you see it. So you just want to poke a hole in there. <laughs> That's all you want to do. Want to see what's underneath. We'll have to just send you up there with uh, with a rock hammer and uh, leave you there for a few weeks. And uh, that's the easiest oh, way to get yeah, in with, without a drill, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, you should come at some point. You should I'd come love to, yeah. It. As soon as the flights are open and uh, and we're allowed into the country, yeah, we'll be there, so. Yeah. I know, for sure. So thank you very much, Erica, for joining our little chat today. Uh, Riverside are currently 100% up in eight days, I think, on the stock price, uh, which I don't think Erica's allowed to say as an employee of the company, but uh, currently 20 euro cents uh, up from nine and a half or something last week, so very good performance. Uh, if you want to get in now, you'll get a split of the spin-out shares as well when Capitan's launched in a few months. So it's a really good time to join the story. Um, some really exciting results coming up, hopefully, from all of those projects. And thank you very much for your time, Erica. Yeah, thank you, Liam. I really appreciate it. I hope yes. you have a good day. Or evening. Evening. Here. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, eh? Yeah, cheers. <laughs>